Hey guys, um, I'm doing an unboxing. I've opened it up, unfortunately, already. But I'm so excited about this. What is the beeping? What did you do, Atlas? I'm very, very excited about this unboxing, okay? Oh, that's the computer beeping. What the world? All right, so, got too excited. So I just, I ordered these, and I didn't order these too long ago, and they have gotten here. Let me show you what I've gotten. And when I opened it up, I was like, what in the world? You ready for this? It's called, uh, I hope I pronounce it right, Beofing Professional FM Transmitter, or Transceiver. Professional quality, user-friendly design, long-range communication, noise reduction circuit, battery save, scrambler, high-capacity ion, FM radio, long standby time, digital, digital signal, processing system you're not going to believe what this is y'all look at here so cool brand spanking new in the package little radios now when i ordered them i thought they were ham radios i'm not sure now so i'm going to have to do some research and I ordered two of them, and that's one. And here is. Ah, it's hard to get this stuff out sometimes. They package this stuff like they don't want nobody to steal it. Which I kind of appreciate. I don't want nobody stealing my mess. Alright, so look at here. Box two. And what do you know? It is the same doggone thing. Look at there. Look at there. I am extremely excited about this professional FM transceiver. All right, let's let's open up the book. Thank you for purchasing your amateur portable radio. This is a dual band, dual display radio. This easy to use radio will deliver you secure, instant, and reliable communications at peak efficiency. Please read the manual carefully before use. The information presented herein will help you to derive maximum performance from your radio. Safety, blah, blah, blah. All right. It even comes with a little a thing that you can clip on. Now, beep, hey, it's me. Beep, you know, hey, it's me, over. All right, so it talks a little basic, basic installation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, put the clip on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so it needs to be charged. When attaching the battery, blah, blah, blah. Turn off the radio before moving battery. That's common sense. Um, changing station, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this apparently... Wow. I'm trying to see if I can't change frequencies with it. If that's if that's possible, then that's going to be cool. Basic operation, radio on and off. Cool, it has a radio on it. That's really cool. And right, let's see his squash levels, frequency. Okay, so it gives you the frequency. That's cool. User channel mode. The following. Blah blah blah. Notes. CTS. The CTCSS table. I'm familiar with that. I said I was going to get my ham operating license, which is crazy in itself. But those ham radios, they they reach, especially if you got like the base, the base unit where you got it set up inside your house and you got the antenna outside and all that kind of stuff. I have been overseas. Matter of fact, I think when I was in Puerto Rico, the phones were down. We couldn't use phones. So somebody had hooked up with a ham operator. And this ham operator was sending our signal to somebody who was ham operating in the States. And they would call and they would allow us to talk to our family. They know, of course, they restricted our time. They was like, okay, well, you got five minutes to talk, you know, talk to your people or whatever. But it was cool. It was a cool experience. This was back in a early 90s like 93 94 my first couple years in the navy and it was cool because you know we were we were using 
we were not using telephones. We were using the radio. So it was something kind of like, let me see if it's one in here. Pretty sure it was a, it was a handheld receiver. Uh, okay, that's a, okay. This is like a little headset type thingy that you plug in looks like to me. Yeah, and it hooks over your ear, so that's what that type is. All right, so it doesn't have the little beep, but it had one of those when I was, back when I was in the Navy and I used, let's shoot, let's turn, let's turn one of these bad boys on, just see. What's the worst thing that can happen? I can think of some things. All right, let's see here. Model is that. Power is that. Okay. I test theories, y'all. And I had ordered an antenna a while ago. I don't know how good it's going to be with this. But, you know, I believe in testing stuff. Channel oh. mode. Well, it comes on, if nothing else. Let's see here. Of course, I didn't really read the directions. That was loud. You out in the woods and you don't want to be found, you're going you're gonna to be in trouble. I know good and darn well this radio, this FM radio does not work. It couldn't possibly work. Does it work, y'all? I'm going to put it on one of the stations here locally and see. We're going to find out. Can you just type it in, honey, for... Where's the dot? Oh. And let's see. I don't know how to program it. No, I didn't mean to do that. 94. One. That's one of our uh, stations here. We're going to see if that works. Okay, you're being not so cooperative. Thank y'all for being here watching this. Because this, I know it's, it's cool. For me, I don't know how cool it is for you guys. Look, it's got a little light on it. Oh my. Oh, and a little flashing light. This is more like, okay, I need to see where I'm going in the dark so I can go find somewhere to pee. This is, somebody please come get me. Save me. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help myself. Now, I'm not real sure if, oh shoot. We'll just, we'll just scroll to until we get there. How about that? Because I keep trying to program it on a certain station and it's not cooperating. So we will just, just keep going down until we get to the station. Here we are. We're almost there. I'm going to be so excited if this thing works. Maybe it'll work outside. I hear something. It wasn't your fault. Oh my goodness. The radio actually works. Let's see what menu does. Well, menu don't do too much, apparently. Oh wow, that's true. Okay, so this this is a cool little radio. I'm I'm kind of digging this. Alright, now let's let's bust the other one open. And this is not like a radio I've ever seen. So this is a radio check. Can anyone hear me? This is a radio check. Can anyone hear me over? So I really don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. So we will open up the other one and pretend to know what we're doing. I don't know. I don't know how good it's going to work or well. Hey, Jack, come here. Just pull up puppy right here. He is so just. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Channel mode. Welcome. Check. Oh my God, there's an alarm on it. Shh. 
So I guess if somebody's attacking me, I can push this and... Okay. Now, I don't know. I don't know what I do. Frequency mode. Channel mode. Oh, you can change your frequency. Channel, frequency. Channel frequency mode. Okay. Oh, this. I'm gonna need Grim to call me and, and, and walk me through this, cause this this may be a ham operating uh, operating radio. And of course, I don't want to get in any trouble by turning it on and using it. But I do want to learn how to use these things. So anyway. We got them. I got them in, y'all, and this is cool. Let me see if this one did. Okay, so if I hold it, it does it on that one too. All right, so I know what I'll do though, because she likes stuff like this. I'm like Jen. I'm like Jennifer. I'll never call her Jennifer. I say Jennifer, babe. I got this new stuff in. And I don't. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Of what I'm doing, and you know, she'll do. Let's give it here. Let me see it. <laughs> so I'll get her to mess with it, figure out how it works, and then she can train me. Okay? Because that's how we roll. Because I, honestly, I don't want to sit here and learn how to do it. But Jennifer, Jennifer loves puzzles, she loves figuring stuff out. I just like doing stuff, okay? I like doing things. Um, and she she will sit and spend a whole bunch of time. I promise you she will. She'll spend a whole bunch of time messing around with these things. And by tomorrow, she will know every functionality of this radio. Hands down, guaranteed. And probably tomorrow for our show, She'll come in and just help help me review it again and be like, you didn't show them this and you didn't show them that? No, babe, I didn't show them nothing. I just turned the thing on and tried to get the radio to work. I mean, the FM part. I did not know what I was doing. Oh, I can't believe you didn't show them this. And then, shoot, next thing I know, she'll be talking to the astronauts or somebody. She'll be like, hey, yeah. And she'll have, friend, she'll have friends and they'll have group, group text messaging and all that kind of stuff going on uh, on the ham radio. Trust and believe she will do something like that. So anyway, that was the unboxing of the Boa Feng. I'm going to spell it for because I know I'm mispronouncing this. B-A-O-F-E-N-G. Okay? Boa Feng. And I got them off of a website where I order a bunch of crap. I didn't even think they were going to show up, to be honest with you. Uh, and let me see, when did they ship? They ship from New Jersey. That's why they got here so quick. And when did this ship? I, I literally just ordered these things last week. Normally when I order stuff from, from this site, this is from Wish, by the way. Normally when I order stuff from Wish, it takes forever to get here. This stuff got here in like lickety split. So anyway, this has been a, um, a review of the Boa Thing ham radios. So thank you for watching. Make sure you... No, make sure you subscribe. I was about to make a I was about to make the noise. I forgot I can make noises now. Have you guys noticed my editing is getting better? Because I used to be like, hey, subscribe, boop, and then I do a little boop noise myself. Now I can be like, subscribe, and then it's there. So let's try it. You ready? Subscribe. Like. Make sure you comment. And also, this. It's tailored just for you. So watch the next video. Thanks for being here. Take care.